Oh my gosh, what if they had a one night stand and then she had another kid? Kelsey, no. What's up everybody? I'm Kelsey and I love colorful things. So we're back once again for another episode of the Not So Fairy Challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one family, but you play for 10 generations and each generation is themed after a different color. The current generation is the gray generation, thus all of the beautiful gray surrounding me. We're taking the day easy today. I also did not feel the need to put on a ton of makeup either. So if you're wondering if I look pale, it's because I didn't put on that much makeup and I'm also just naturally pale. <laughs> anyway, I'm rocking our It's fine, I'm fine, we're fine merch It feels very appropriate today If you guys were wondering, if you're wondering Where I am at, the reason that there are Less videos this month is because I am Seeing friends, traveling, so this is Past Kelsey, in fact it's like mid-December Right now when I'm filming this, so I'm very excited for you guys to all catch up During this month, so that we can all talk About all the tea that has gone down Speaking of which, I'm drinking some tea Go get yourself a warm cup, have a nice little snuggle Up with me this Saturday, or whatever whatever day it is where you are. And let's play some Sims, okay? Incredible, we're back with Skylar Berry, newly single, and her daughter, Amethyst Berry. She just aged up into a kid last episode, so she has plenty of days to go until teendom. We've got plenty of time. In fact, we're actually going to be having, I believe, our birthday before Amethyst's birthday. All right, so it might be time for us to start looking around for our next significant other. I I told a lot of you guys to start uploading your favorite characters that might be Skylar's like end game. Also maybe some unflirty best friends for Skylar. I'll be checking in a couple episodes for that. But for right now, I think we could try to find a townie maybe for Skylar. She'll bump into someone at karaoke. We just completed the bodybuilder aspiration. I'm very proud of us. We are now at level eight of our career, which we need to be at level 10 to complete it. We have maxed out fitness. We just need to max out singing and parenting as well. So we're almost there singing, parenting is gonna be a little bit more behind. But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be focusing on today is finishing up a lot of those skills. I also need to make a Sunday holiday and it's going to be family movie night. It will not be a day off work. I'll just have to, I think, just remember every Sunday. I thought I could somehow like schedule it every Sunday, but we'll just try to remember it. Hopefully I remember. Oof, our girl is hungry. Go get some leftovers and some pho. Hopefully you'll eat it now that you're a little older. When you were a little girl, you wouldn't eat pho. She's chatting with mom. Mom's very focused for her. Mom, why don't you practice singing? Oh my God. The house is just a sty. Look how much gross clothes are everywhere. It's so nasty. I feel like Amethyst would be kind of the one that maybe starts doing chores around the house and cleaning up. She's having spicy food and Skylar's working on her singing skills. So that's good. All right. Why don't you clean up a bit, Amethyst? I know you'll want to. Oh, she's so tired. Oh my gosh. Do laundry. Add to washing machine. Okay, let's see if uh, our little daughter can try to do some laundry. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Look at her trying to clean up everything. There's too much laundry. Oh my God. It's so gross. Wow. She's really getting everything too. I'm very impressed. Picking up the stuff out here. Oh, she's even going outside for the stuff on the... Oh my gosh. What a good kid. Good girl. And then she passed out. The poor baby. She missed one. I think I could just put that in there for her. Poor sweetheart. All right, why don't you go to sleep? But she cleaned up all the laundry at least. Skylar, meanwhile, she's singing to herself. She's so funny. But I think she'll wash the laundry. I think we'll have her finish what her daughter started just because she wants to be a good mom. Ragtime Barry, such a sweet baby. Oh, tuck in your daughter, Amethyst. And then we're gonna clean up a little bit, take a shower. She's all done. Hooray. Hopefully she doesn't have work like this second. Two days. All right. She has a day off today, which will be perfect for her to go out, maybe meet some people. Okay. Everyone's sleeping. Amethyst, don't you have school? Oh no, she doesn't have school today because you just aged up. Perfect. You should unload and move laundry to the dryer. Cannon wants us to come hang out. Cannon, we don't really want to hang out today. Cannon's calling Amethyst his daughter. I've been thinking of getting a new job. What do you think? We just broke up because of your job. And now you're like, I think I'll get a new one. I thought that was your dream job, dude. Yeah, you should start a new career, dad. I'm not gonna tell mom though, she's gonna be mad. 
Yeah, do it. You're right, I should go for it. Great, good for you, dad. Okay, why don't you clean up? Oh, she's so cute. She's like, I'm gonna go swing on the swings that mom got me. I definitely need to fix her hair and get her some new purple hair. Look at her swing, swing, swing. And oh, why don't we work on some of these things for her whiz kids? Because then she could be mentally gifted and that's gonna be kind of important for when she is like, you know, wanting to, I forget what all her things are that she needs to do. Master dance and two other skills of your choosing and achieve at least a level eight in six skills and complete the Renaissance sim aspiration. All right, so yeah, let's get her a whiz kid. Let's get her a chess set taken after some of your family members here with the chess set. Love that for us. Maybe like right here. Yeah, cute, okay. All right, why don't you play some chess once you're done with the swing, okay? Mom is using the toilet. She needs to go. And then maybe can we cook something? A garden salad. Let's do a little party size garden salad for everyone. Amethyst, why are you eating popcorn? Amethyst loves popcorn. She can't help it. Oh, our dad's here. Invite him in. Come hang out with dad. Maybe challenge dad to a chess game and maybe read with dad a little bit. She's feeling inspired. That's very sweet. Meanwhile, Skylar was struggling a bit with her salad, but she, she got some done. Look at them making their little chess match, having a little chess time. She's like sitting out here watching them. Skylar, I think I want you to practice your singing again. Get up to level nine at least. Oh yeah, she is level nine. Don't eat more popcorn, darling, okay? There's literal food in the fridge. Did you finish your first game of chess? She did. All right, well, I'm gonna leave you in dad's capable hands and I'm gonna head out. So let's go travel. We'll bring, who's our bestie that isn't canon? You know what? I'm vibing Nicole Berry. Let's call up Nicole, go out karaoke in the city to our favorite spot. We always go to Planet Honey Pop. She's a regular. I bet she knows all the people that work there. And we'll see if we spy any potential bays. Okay, wow, we are just so strong. Oh, Chichiru, Tanaka, and Caleb Vitor are the only ones here right now. All right, let's sing a country duet with Nicole Berry. Oh, attractiveness. Wait, what? Uh, Skylar thinks Nicole is attractive. I'm so happy that you're attracted to women and that you've kind of have this new awakening. But my girl, you are barking up the wrong tree. Are you kidding me? You're related. Okay, thank you. The flirt went away. The Sims out here wild in today. Who's this? Nora Kudo could break our heart. Maybe we should introduce ourselves. Oh my God, I need to keep a better eye on you. You were trying to flirt with Nicole Berry. No, 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 no. I get that you're in a flirty mood, okay? What if you, oh look, it's also uh, Tracy Huntington III. All our friends are out here. All right, let's, let's introduce ourselves to this sim over here, okay? Go get a flirty introduction to someone else. Perceive as attractive, that's good. <gasps> I'm sorry. It says karaoke contest night at the karaoke bar. Kids, Sims can test their silky singing skills by selecting singing karaoke contest on any of the karaoke machines in the building. The winner will be announced at 11 p.m. Oh, we're doing that. But first we need to kind of bold pickup line this Nora Kudo, the vendor. I vibe this. I really like Nora. I think Nora might like us. It's a little awkward because everyone's here, but it's fine. Oh, Nora is single. Okay, this seems... Uh, uh, kind of perfect. Ask about Nora's career, maybe? Like what, how long have you been making sushi? This is delicious. Get to know It's a vendor. It's a jester personality, so she's funny. She's clumsy, just like her mom. Don't talk to Tracy, talk to the vendor. We're gonna make a move. <gasps> She closed up shop just to chat with us. Nora, 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 Nora. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, it is definitely happening. Okay, tell a funny story. Compliment appearance to Nora. Maybe don't first kiss quite yet. Maybe ask about children. I wanna know if that's like a hard and fast no for Nora because we do have a kid. We're having a good time. Nora's really vibing us. Oh yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I don't have kids, she said. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna sing in karaoke contest and we're gonna sing fun tonight. We're gonna sing fun tonight. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 quick. Sing in the karaoke contest before anyone else does. I hope my opponent doesn't feel bad. Yes, she's too talented. She's like, I'm here, gonna kill everyone's hopes and dreams. Ooh, okay, these two be flirting. Oh, Nika Landgrab's also really cute. Ooh, maybe we'll just be flirting around with everybody. Anika Landgrab. Oh my gosh, Skylar scored 54 out of 100 points. What? Really? 
I'm kind of mad. She's really talented. Did I just pick the wrong song? Wait, no, 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 no. Don't leave, Annika. Annika, don't leave. Caleb Vitor won the contest? Uh, that is so rude. There's no way we are way a better singer. Screw you, Caleb. Ooh, Annika shows the personality lover archetype. This might be a good vibe. Oh, Annika's married to Todd Langrup. Never mind. We'll stick with Nora. You know, Annika, mm -mm, mm -mm. Nora's way cuter, and I cannot believe we think Nicole is extremely attracted. I just, you know, at least I know what her type is. Relatives. Just kidding. <laughs> We're not into some Game of Thrones crap right now, okay? We're not doing that, Sims. I don't care if you don't consider them relatives. I do. All right, so let's practice some singing. Can someone else make this decision for me? What's wrong with you, Amethyst? She's just chilling, playing her games of chess. She's mental level three already. Good for you, sweetie. She wants to read with an adult for two hours. That would be perfect if Skylar did that, actually. All right, why don't you read with your daughter? My peasy cat Opoka. Okay, I'm gonna put that in my inventory. Inventory. Read to child. Yes, amethyst. Okay, perfect. No more practicing singing. Get in there and read to your child for a couple hours because you want to be a better parent anyway. Amethyst is coming in. Perfect. Oh, she needs that for her like read with adult and Skylar will become a better parent. It's a win-win. I'm very happy about this. Okay, did we read? How long did we read? Not even for an hour? Can we read her to bed? Oh, she just put herself to bed. All right, we're gonna talk amethyst in. I guess we need to read a little more. So cute. Oh, she's feeling flirty though why don't you send a like a little flirty text to nora maybe it's 2 a.m it's a little late let's give some huggings to our puppy give our dog some kisses we have work in 10 hours so we do need to go to bed at some point but we're still kind of vibing so come on i'm gonna hustle a little bit Ooh, now we're inspired yes we really should be gaining this skill a lot quicker since we have all of these like bonuses like we should have all these bonuses. we're creatively gifted we are responsible we're socially gifted. We're not creative. Wait, what? When did we get that? That's annoying. I bet they're working against each other. Whatever. Amethyst is off to school. Oh my gosh. Goodbye, Amethyst. Some other kid threatened Amethyst and took her lunch money. She's been crying. Oh my gosh. Mama Bear would come and she'd be like, find the kid or I will. I will be so mad. And why don't you dry your laundry really quick? Okay, well, actually, why don't you use the toilet really fast and then dry the laundry that your daughter started? Very nice of her. All right, and then maybe take a quick little sh singing in the shower moment. Grab some leftovers. Oh, these are so gross. You just leave. Oh man, she just left all this trash to pile up. It's so gross. Skylar starts working about an hour. Okay, great. Who's calling my daughter? Cannon says, I did it. I got the job. Now my dreams are closer than ever. How cute is that? He's a palette cleaner. So now he wants to be an artist. Okay, well, maybe put the laundry away. Trying to be a good mom for your daughter. You're going to work now. All right, go to work, sweetie. Have fun at work. All right, hopefully we will level up. We'll get a promotion today. I don't know if we will because we were still pretty low on the bar, but we never know. And our daughter's home, Amethyst. Oh. Oh, maybe you need a little shower. Why don't you take a nice shower to like relax or maybe a bath? Maybe a bath might be good for her. Take a bath. Ooh, Skylar has been assigned an intern to train and manage. How should she handle her intern? Assign some tough tasks. Heck yeah, Skylar believes in throwing fresh meat into the deep end and the intern proves they know how to swim. Between Skylar and the intern, they almost tripled their typical work output. I don't know what that means because she is on a sports team, but it's fine. And garner praise from the boss. Great. Okay, does that mean we are gonna jump up a bit in our work? Okay, I'm not seeing any jumping up a bit, but that's fine. She's like, this place is gross. Why don't you use the toilet really fast? because you need to. Oh my God, mom didn't even flush the toilet. Okay, get some leftovers and some salad. Poor baby Amethyst, just like, I don't like how slobby my mom is. <laughs> Can you do your homework and not pass out? I think you should breeze through your homework really quick. Oh, she's gonna take a nap? I thought I asked you to breeze through your homework. There we go. Okay, she finished that. Why don't you take a little nap on your bed and then we'll have you play like a game of chess when you get up. Who's calling mom? Quick question, Tracy Huntington III and I were planning to spend some time together. <gasps> Ooh, yes, I think you should go for it. I love it. It's just like the friends group where they all date each other. Ooh, he brought home so much money. Okay, we're really, really tired. So why don't you go to sleep? And we left all the laundry there, of course. Hot and heavy daydreaming of Nicole Berry. Stop it, stop it, stop it. No, I'm gonna pretend that that's not who she's thinking about, okay? I'm gonna pretend she's thinking about someone else. 
mom's awake. It's random. I thought mom needed to sleep. Why don't you get some leftovers? Oh my gosh. Every part of the house is gross and stinky. I want to clean up the house so bad, but I'm waiting until we're dating the right sim. Oh, how cute is she? She's going to play some basketball. Oh, and then she also wants to have an endurance run. Maybe instead of an endurance run, you could practice your singing. Okay, daughter, are you not done with your third game of chess yet? Because this is taking forever. There we go. Focused. Are you not like playing a game of chess here? It just looks like you keep restarting. All right, play with mom. Mom, get over here. And daughter does not want to do it. Okay. No oh, she did. It counted. Play three games of chess. Excellent. 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 Okay. Everyone's asleep. I love being center of attention. Of course, we know that Skylar. We know. <laughs> Hannah, I spent some time with Tracy hunting for the turd and I was amused the entire time. Wow, Hannah and Tracy. I ship it, I ship it. <gasps> do you wanna go on a date? Yes, but not at this second. Do I have work? I do have work in four hours. All right, quick girl, go to the bathroom. All right, mom is feeling great. Maybe you fill the dog bowl really quick. There you go, finish your eating and then sing in the shower. Okay, ooh, she's feeling inspired. Okay, work on your practice singing. Hopefully that'll help. Meanwhile, Amethyst, why don't you clean up around the house a bit since you're stressed about it? She's playing with her toys. Then she's going to empty the trash. She's such a good kid. She's a little genius. She's good at everything. But she's going to go add stuff to the washing machine. She's doing her chores, cleaning up all of her mom's clothes. <laughs> While mom's just singing in the shower, I'm deceased. Oh, mom's late. Mom's late to work. Mom's late to work. Go to work. Give your dog a kiss and go to work. It's Saturday, so Amethyst is actually not going to school today. She's got a lot of chores that she's taking care of. Yeah, once she finishes this, wash the laundry and then call your dad to come over. Oh, there he is. There's dad. Give him a little cuddle. She's chatting with the dog, being a good girl. There she goes. She's like, thanks for coming over, dad, on Saturday. Enthuse about candy. Maybe like ask him, hook him up with someone. Oh my God, she can suggest Canon date someone, but she can't suggest her own mom. That's very funny. Maybe she can ask for help cleaning. She'd be like, can you help me clean this place up? It's like nasty and I hate it. Apparently he said yes, but then actually didn't clean anything. I'm assuming it means cleaning the floors. Oh, they're just hanging out. How's mom doing? Is she there yet? Okay. She wants to have a water balloon fight and talk about a school day. Why don't you talk about your school day to dad? Oh, she likes fitness. Oh my gosh, just like her mom. Yeah, talk about school. Okay, come on. We need it. We need this. Get that check mark, girl. Get it. Yes. Okay. We're definitely getting a promotion today. What? Mom didn't get a promotion. Are you kidding me? I am shocked. All right. Dad's heading out. Maybe sing in the shower really quick so that we can try to get up your singing skill. And then you should ask your friend out on a date. All right, well, that didn't work because I was trying to get her to like be inspired to practice singing. Ooh, there we go. Okay, I was like, hopefully we could finish this really quick. Oh, it's already 11, shoot. Did you do your homework, Amethyst? Okay, she did. Ooh, Amethyst had a eureka moment. Being a genius, this gave her them some boost to one of more, more, more practice skills. How good, Amethyst, you're so smart. My genius queen. Now she's tired. She's gonna go to sleep. Mom's still singing. I guess we'll finish this really quick tonight and then we'll maybe go on a date tomorrow. I can't imagine though someone like going into their backyard and then like singing all night, but that's what she's doing apparently. Singing all night until her voice is perfect. It's just her passion. It's what Skylar loves the most. That and her children. Yes, baby. Skylar's mastered the singing skill. Karaoke records will fall before her awesome voice. Amazing. Okay, so she has a perfect voice. This is exactly what we wanted. All right, let's go to bed. It's 3 a.m. All right, put all my sims to bed. Bed. And of course our sweet baby angel is up first. She needs to use the toilet. That of course mom still is not cleaned and is gross, but it's fine. It's the first day of fall. How nice. Oh, she can't reach the dryer. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? All right, clean up. She's gonna do a little stretch. Can you like clean that? No, she's gonna play with the dog. Yay, give the dog some lovin's. Ragtime is looking sad. A hug or something might cheer him up. All right, let's cheer up Ragtime a little bit. Maybe Ragtime doesn't like that. Amethyst is now always going to school. Oh, it's Sunday, I forgot. She does not have school. Does mom have work? Mom does have work today though. She's working six hours. Okay, Amethyst, you might be spending the day with your dad again. Are you sick? 
Filthy surroundings, icky plumbing. It doesn't say she, oh, she is kind of sick. Okay, let's get our daughter some medicine. Order medicine. Okay, there you go. Why don't you drink that? All right, now you're feeling nice and spry, very energized. Can successfully combat it or cold. Wish I could do it. Okay, now let's read the first unicorn to Amethyst. Oh, she's sitting right next to us and we're gonna read her a book. And we're farting and laughing about it. At least Amethyst th thought it was kind of funny. Okay, well, we read for one hour. We will hopefully read for another hour at some point. Apparently the books are very short. Should we get like more advanced book? Our daughter's very advanced. Lord of the Swings. Maybe we should read Lord of the Swings to our daughter. And this is getting some popcorn to listen to mom read her a story. Even Ragtime's here listening. We're level six of parenting. Yeah, baby. Love that. I'm excited for Amethyst to be like a big older sister that's just good at everything. Looks like uh, we finished that book. When did we go to work? In three hours? Okay, we still have time. Maybe we need to purchase another children's book. How I dumped your father. Let's do The Adventures of Pink Ruffles. All right, that'll be a good one. We got another book for you. We're ripping through these children's books. They're both loving it too. It's so cute. Makes our parenting go up. Yes, Amethyst completed the precarious of the whiz kid or precocious. Finish homework two times while focused. Okay, so that is our next goal. Yes, and we nailed that right before our work started. She's feeling so good. Good mom. We're getting up there with our parenting. Proud of us. Maybe under parenting, teach to say please and thank you. That'd be a good one. Amethyst can get better moodlets from playing with teddy bear. Oh, cute. So we taught her please and thank you. All right, well, Amethyst is home for the day. Maybe we should invite over dad again. Oh, dad's not available. Maybe he's at work too. Oh, poor baby. Popcorn for lunch. Love that. She's a little tired, so maybe we'll have her go to bed. Hanging out with the dog. <gasps> Post-game presser. Following a difficult loss, Skylar sat down with the media for a post-game interview. Already feeling heated, anger flashed in her eyes when a reporter asked, statistically, this is one of your worst choke jobs in the history of the sport. Your team had a commanding lead and collapsed in the last minute. Who's responsible for that? With her emotions surging, Skylar wanted to unleash a rant and point out that the coaching staff didn't have her on the field in the final moments, but she knew that such issues would be handled within the locker room, away from the public. Will Skylar blame her coach for not utilizing her talents or act like a professional athlete? Oh, she's gonna act like a professional. She's gonna discuss winning and losing as a team. She would never throw the coach under the bus. Number one, I don't think she's that kind of person anyway. But number two, she wouldn't want to keep her job because it was required in this challenge. All right, why don't you go to sleep, sweetie? Since you're kind of tired. Okay, is mom getting that promotion? Yes, we are now going to be level nine. Let's go. We're definitely gonna have to go out tonight with a certain special sim one. Aww, poor Amethyst. It's like as much as her mom is like a total rock star, she is like mostly focused on her career and so like can't always be there for Amethyst on like weekends and stuff. So that's kind of a bummer. But I'm pretty certain that Skylar will be the one that would retire pretty early because number one, it's athletic career. Number two, they have a bunch of money. And number three, her goal is to be like an awesome parent, so. But we've been promoted to MVP. She will now make an additional 112 simoleons per hour for a total of 242 simoleons per hour. That's nuts. We also gained a bonus of 900 simoleons and a treadmill. Is the treadmill better than our treadmill? I'm just like wondering. Zen exercise treadmill. That one's 3,000 simoleons. What's this one? 1,000. Okay, it is better than our treadmill. So let's put that baby in here for her. What other things do we have? Anything from work? No, not really. Got all these charisma books, which is really random. Should sell them all. We need to reach a level eight of charisma skill to get a promotion. I never knew that. So let's like practice a speech maybe, but we are an MVP now. Boom, okay, we reached charisma level seven. So we just need to like go up there once more. We're tucking in our little sweet angel. Okay, and then we're gonna make some food. Maybe we'll do miso ramen. Ooh, that sounds really good. Reach cooking level eight? That's great. Wait, did we not make multiple miso soups? No, there's only one ramen miso soup? Oh, come on. All right, well, maybe we'll do instead fish yakisoba. That way our daughter can have some food here. Oh, and she's gonna join. <gasps> How cute is that? Amethyst was gonna join the cooking, but she didn't need to. That's cute. Okay, go take a shower now and go, oh, actually we don't need to sing in the shower, but for old time's sake, we're gonna sing in the shower, okay? We're being a good little singer here. Have you done all your homework? Do you have any extra credit? No? Okay, cool. We're gonna go to bed. Oh, what's Amethyst doing? 
She's gonna add the new laundry to the laundry machine. She's such a good kid. She's like, I'll pick up all the laundry, mom. Don't worry about it. All right, and then wash the laundry. Oh, she's gonna do some little sit-ups. Why don't you go to sleep since it's 6 a.m.? Does mom have work off today? Yes, we do. Okay, we'll go on a date today with our new flame. My thought of like probably Nora might just like not want kids and maybe that's why the relationship fails because that's all that uh, Skylar wants is more a big happy family. Oh, Amethyst, I might need to challenge myself a new job. Oh my God, you just got a new job, Cannon. You know what? I was really sad last episode about the breaking up. I thought they were meant to be, but now I'm like, you know what? This was the right call. He is way too chaotic for a, to be a stable family man. But Amethyst is going to be his hype lady all the time. She's gonna be like, yeah, dad, do it. Why don't you take a nap, okay? Please go to school. I don't know what part of my mods kept you from going to school, but I think you should go to school. All right, mom, whenever you wanna wake up. Oh, she's also kind of famous now. Yeah, she's a notable newcomer because she's like so, so well liked. What's up, Skylar? I noticed your name was all the buzz lately. How do you feel about catching up? No, you just like it because I'm a famous sports player. Wait, what the heck, Jesse? You cannot just come into my home, leave. Go pay your bills, sweetie. And then I think you need to work on your charisma skill again. Okay, that's enough. Let's go on a date and then maybe we'll use all of the interactions to help up our charisma because we need our last promotion of professional athlete. We could go to this lounge. They don't have karaoke, but it could be fun and it's really close to our house. Let's do it. Oh wait, she's pregnant? With whose baby? Dale Ito, the younger brother of my ex boy. Okay, with twins? And I'm finding this out now? Ask the baby's due date. Be like, when are you due? We'll go sit and talk with our date, but I feel like this is going to be what's the what's failed about this relationship. We didn't even get that far in and we're already like, mm. Perfect. All right, sit and talk to your date is our one of our first things. So why don't we celebrate her pregnancy? Oh, she likes Japanese folk music. Yeah, we do. That's very cute. Okay, we celebrated her thing. We're brightening her day. We're complimenting her outfit. It's a very nice outfit you chose today for our date. Was she pregnant last time and I just didn't see it? Maybe do a little knock-knock joke. We're crushing the date, but I think they're better as friends because this would be way messy. Give her another little joke, maybe. We reached comedy level four. We're very funny now. All right, maybe have some deep conversations. Be like, are you really looking to date right now? Or maybe ask about her day. We're feeling very energized. Yeah, this is not... Mm -mm. I think we're just gonna use her to up our charisma skill. Maybe she should just ask just to be friends. Our thing's going pretty well. Oh, she's like over our compliments now. Okay, well now we're being jokey again. This is awkward. We're gonna go practice our speeches. We're gonna just kind of bail on our date a little bit to work on our skills. Okay, the date is complete. I think <laughs> after this, we should ask just to be friends, you know? Oh, we can't. Okay, well, I guess uh, we'll go home. Oh my gosh, new quirk, Vain Street. Style gazed upon her reflection one too many times. No, it's developed an obsessive need to constantly check and ensure that she's looking as beautiful as ever. Admiring her fine self in a mirror will make her confident, but if she goes too long without using a mirror, she'll become tense. Dang it. We got a weird fame quirk for Skylar that I just don't know if it makes sense, but I guess she's always been very beautiful. So, you know, maybe now she's very aware with, of it because of the people telling her how famous she is for her, her beauty and soccer skills and her athletic skills. I kind of see her a soccer player. Even though we've only done basketball, I really see her as a soccer player. So in my mind, maybe she plays soccer. All right, how do we get her focused? Maybe ponder some moves? Okay, go work on your charisma skill. I'm sure it'll make you happy anyway. Okay, there we go. She's focused again. All right, please stop thinking about your decision-making stuff. Nope, she's feeling that instead. Go read something. Stop switching between moods so often. Oh, is dad here? Cannon's here. Okay, we're focused. All right, now work on your homework, please. Go help with homework, mom. So she gets done with it quicker. Although I have a feeling that Amethyst is actually a lot better at homework than her mom is. Her mom will be the one that's like, I think that's new math. They didn't teach me that when I was in school. <laughs> Amethyst's work is complete. Okay, did it work? Yes, okay, excellent. Woohoo, all right. So we're out to the, the next part of WizKid. That's awesome. We didn't really see it happen, but you know, I'm happy anyway. She's gonna admire her fine self. You do that. Achieve a grade A at school. We're almost there. We are a C. So 
no, we're not there at all. Craft three emotional potions. Okay, we don't have the little thing to do that with. So maybe we will move this over here, up against the wall, maybe here. And then we'll do the potion making thingy. Oh, that's cute. I like this color. All right, can we make an emotion potion? Go make an emotion potion. You have to craft three of them. Skylar's checking out her fine self. Amethyst reached mental level eight. Very good. And she made a little emotion potion. Clean the lint tray and dry the laundry. She's doing it. She doesn't do much, but she does it. Oh my gosh, did someone come clean the, the toilets? Because they are clean now. So love that for us. Love that for us. Are you gonna go admire yourself again? I hate this. I hate this. Go practice your speech, okay? Go finish this goal of your charisma skill. Oh God, she's ill. She's all steamed up. All right, well, we gotta order some medicine. I can relate to this episode where they both keep kind of getting sick. And then maybe you should eat your fish yucky soba before it goes bad. Okay, she's completely combated her cold, which is great. Oh, our daughter is like sleepy. Go to actual sleep, sweetie. Was that the popcorn? Oh no, that was the laundry. How cute is that little jingle by the laundry? So sweet. She is not doing hot. She's gonna go look at herself again. I hate this. This is so weird. Okay, she's working on her skill though. Hopefully charisma will go up and we'll be done with that. We're so close. Finish it, girl. Boom, level up. Okay, we're charisma level eight, which is perfect. Why don't you go take a shower and then go to sleep? We are done. We're ready for work. I think tomorrow in eight hours. All right, she's still got plenty of time to go to sleep and get all of that organized. Tracy Huntington III. It's good to hear your voice, Skylar. I wanted to ask if I should get to know Hannah Tanaka a little better. Yes, I think you should go for it. I'm this into school and I didn't notice. All right, mom's sleeping. We're all ready for work tomorrow. And we had a good date, but not a great date. I did it, I got the job. Now my dreams are close than ever. Great, what did he get this time? Lawn mower, a green fist garden solution. So he's now a gardener. All right, good for you, buddy. Yeah, why don't you come over and hang out actually? I think we should ask to just be friends. Hannah, are you coming? Or what's, what What was her name again? Nora, Nora, are you coming? Okay, yeah, she's coming over. She also got married. Okay, Nora, yeah, we definitely need to talk because you got married also not to the father of your child and you are no longer pregnant. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, this is a big fail of a relationship. That's for sure. We're gonna go get some leftovers. How long does it take for this girl to arrive to the house? Like, oh, Nora is not coming over. She is a vendor somewhere else. Okay, we have work in two hours. I think we need to talk to her. And we're gonna ask just to be friends. Or we're bringing our food with us. And we're like, okay, listen, I'm very famous now anyway. Um, and you're married. So I think we should like not remove any flirty things between us. Also, you stink. Yeah, not for us. Did we not ask to just be friends? Okay, they did. Great. They've cooled off their romantic relationship. Nothing is between them anymore. Great. We're gonna eat this food. She's like probably very relieved. We're going to work just as Amethyst came home from school. So cute and sad. All right, why don't you take a little bath and check on the puppy? Because the puppy, oh my gosh, the puppy is gross. Okay, puppy needs a bath. Okay, work really hard, mom, because you could get a promotion probably to next time at work, but oh, dog does not like the bath. We're gonna play with the dog a little bit and then we're gonna take a nap. They're so cute. She's like, okay, good boy, ragtime. I'm gonna go to bed now. Poor Skylar. That was such a fail of a relationship. I didn't even have to do anything. That just wrote itself. She's gonna have some veggie yakisoba. Yum. The mom made for her. I don't know why she's using a fork when she could use the chopsticks, but that's fine. Clean up a little bit. Excellent. She's gonna go sleep again. It's a little early, but okay. We'll wake you up when mom gets home. Okay, mom's home. So why don't you craft like another emotion potion? There we go. We're mental level nine already. Wow. That is impressive. Skylar's running home. She's Still farty as usual. Gonna go check herself out. She needs some fun. Why don't you like work out a little bit? Ragtime's hungry. Oh, Amethyst, can you fill Ragtime's bowl? Wait, what happened to Ragtime's bowl? No wonder Ragtime's hungry. It's gone. We'll just uh, put another one down. There you go. Ragtime has a bowl again. Please feed Ragtime. And then, okay, we finished the motion potions. Let's make sure to go do our homework because we're a smarty pants. Also, it would be good if she learned to dance. Maybe change station to like hip hop and then dance a little bit. 
it after you're done with homework? Oh, you're tired. I guess we won't dance yet. Also, I think dancing won't really give you dance skill anyway. All right, turn that off. Why don't you give Ragtime a bath? Cause Ragtime needs a bath. Oh, Cannon's here. Go invite dad in once you're done with your homework. Perfect, Amethyst Berry completed her homework and she's gonna go invite in dad, which she does not need to do. Unwelcome present. I got a present that I think is dumb. I wanna trade it with a friend or give it back. Um, no, you should be grateful. Go give Ragtime a bath. And Amethyst, you really need to go to bed, so. Dad, will you put me to bed? Oh, he left. Maybe don't run after him. Just go to bed. I know you're tired. I thought he was still in the house, but apparently he went on a walk for some reason. Yeah, he had to go, so he headed out. He stopped by maybe after his new job. And everything is quiet at the Berry house. Amethyst, you're up early. Oh, she's got school. All right, go to the grade school, Amethyst. Have a good time. Make sure to get an A grade, okay? You need to become a B student at least today. Good job. She's off to school. Does mom have work today? She does. She does have work today. So we're definitely gonna get a promotion today. Oh my gosh, we'll have completed the MVP. So the only thing left that we would need after today is parenting. Okay, fabulous. She's gonna go get some food, get some fuel up for practice. <gasps> Grades are up. Good job, Amethyst. I'm so proud of you. Oh my gosh. She's got to be at school. Such a good girl. Go back to sleep. Yes. Yeah. And mom's going off to work. They're like little passing ships. But hopefully she's just sleeping. So she'll be okay on her own. Ragtime did need a bath. Look how Ragtime's coloring now without the bath. What? Yamachan, why are you in my home? Maybe you should leave. This is kind of creepy. We got this. Get that promotion, girl. You got this. We're getting a call from Cannon. Oh, he wants to know if we want to go over and hang out. You know what? We'll do it. We'll come over and hang out at dad's place. We never do that. Look at this. This is Dale Ito, his brother who had the kid with the one girl. Genevieve Sigworth and Tyler Dreamer. I have no idea where their, their whole thing was, but let's go chat with dad. They have a pretty big family for such a tiny, tiny house, but she's going to hang out with dad a little bit. Maybe do some homework. Breeze through homework together? That'd be really sweet. He's probably showing her some TikToks. Oh God, Amethyst is going through a growth spurt. All right, they're breezing through the homework together. Mom is tense. Come on, just get that career boost. Ah, all right, mom's home. We should probably go home, dad. Oh, we'll go home after our homework's done. Talk about dreams and then maybe give him like a nice little hug and then you're gonna head home. She's so cute. Well, a little mature bean. She's like, thanks for having me over, dad. And then she just walks home like next door. She's hungry and needs to pee and stuff. So she's gonna walk home literally right next door to her dad's house is our house. So convenient for sweet little Amethyst. That makes me very happy. How's mom? She's stressed, she's, so she's gonna work out. All right, you can still do that, that's fine. We'll take care of Amethyst right now. Yamachan's finally gone. You mean Yamachan was in our house? Oh my gosh, and Cannon came over. He's thinking about our mom. Cannon, you chaotic bean. Oh, maybe he walked her over. He walked her home. So he came by to chat with mom a little bit. Mom's having a, a bit of a mental breakdown for some reason on the <laughs> treadmill. Maybe the pressures at work were, were kind of high today. Oh my gosh, is he flirting with us? Cannon. I know we both are attracted to each other still. I know how cute it would be to get back together. I'm not interested anymore. Oh, she's eating some yakisoba as usual. Chatting with dad. And she's gonna take herself to bed. Good girl. All right, she's gonna take a, a nice bath a nice luxurious bath with her piles and piles of laundry. I'm gonna put some of them in this basket here. It's just too much. Use the toilet. What else do we need to do? Just like parenting, I guess. Oh my gosh, what if they had a one night stand and then she had another kid? I just want another kid. I want another little guy to take care of right now. Kelsey, no. Kelsey, yes. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. They were flirting. Could they? No, I'd have to like work them up to it. Okay, well, probably not then. Why is Ragtime upset? Give Ragtime a treat. You go, Ragtime. Very good. Okay, we're kind of sleepy. So I think we should go to bed. Oh no, our puppy has a red nose. That's why you don't feel so good. All right, well, first of all, we got some vet treats. We inherited them from our family members, so I never have to take you to the vet. Here you go, Ragtime time. No more Rudolph vibes for you. Great. And then we're going to fart and go back to sleep.
Never have I had such a consistently farty sim. I just, I can't. Oh, it's today's Harvest Fest. Wait, does that mean we're not going to work? Great. Well, I kind of wanted to end this on uh, Skylar getting a promotion and like completing this part of the professional athlete career. But I think I might actually just end up leaving this here and have Amethyst and Skylar's lovely little Harvest Fest together. Oh wait, did I forget? Oh, I forgot family movie night. We're technically not a big family yet. I'll try to remember better, but we will have family movie night next week, next Sunday. But I think I'm gonna leave this one here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. What a drama. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get to them until the end of this month, but still keep leaving them. Let me know what characters you love. I will be looking through all of your guys' sims probably in the next couple episodes, which keep in mind wasn't in December. So it'll have been a while since I got to look at them, but I will be looking at some of your guys' sims that you've made for our OTP a couple episodes from now. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.